Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our March edition of the Director's Corner. I am Kimberly Springle, the director here at Charles Sumner School Museum and Archives, and I am so happy to greet you this March. Spring has sprung, everybody. We are in the spring season. We are so excited. And March is also Women's History Month. So in order to honor that, I wanted to bring you all into our portrait gallery here and share with you a little bit of background and history about a few very interesting, phenomenal women that helped shape DC public school system. So we'll start over here with Bertie Backus. Bertie Backus um, has a school name for her, her, excuse me, as do all of these women. Her school is located on South Dakota Avenue and Hamilton Streets Northeast. It is currently the home of UDC's Community College. However, the building served as a middle school or junior high school from the mid 60s to 2008 when it closed. But a little bit about Bertie Backus, she was a school principal at Alice Deal junior high school. She also had a passion for character education and character development. And because of her work in that area, she was appointed by President Roosevelt to head up a project related to character education to combat um, youth delinquency. So here in the center, we have Martha Harris Winston, who also has a school name for her over in Southeast. Washington, D.C., and she was a long-serving principal at Young Elementary School, which is now the home of Two Rivers Public Charter School. So this wonderful woman served over 40 years as a principal there. So truly a lifelong educated, uh, excuse me, committed educator in the city of Washington, D.C. Um, last but certainly not least, we have Marion P. Shad. Also, um, there's a building name for her. She served as an educator from the late 19th century all the way to 1926 and was the first woman ever appointed as an assistant superintendent in DC public schools. She served um, the divisions 10 through 13, which were the African American schools, as the head and director of the DC public elementary schools within that division from 1924 to 1926. So I also wanna use this as a reminder to let you know that there's lots of information about building namesakes and other wonderful educators, women educators within the public school system here at Sumner. So please come and research with us. We are open by appointment only. You can send us a message at info.sumnermuseum at dc.gov. Speaking of research, I wanted to share with you all that the DC History Conference is kicking off next week. We are super excited. We are um, serving at, on the board, the planning committee to make this happen. We are very excited about the schedule ahead. Um, I personally, along with other colleagues, will be um, moderating a session and panel to honor and celebrate the Sumner School's upcoming 150th anniversary. So see us on April the 2nd. Our session is Saturday, April 2nd at 3 o'clock. Registration is free for the conference. The sessions will be taking place at the DC Public Library, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Branch, downtown at 9th and G Streets. But on Thursday night, we'll kick off the event here at the Charles Sumner School Museum and Archives with the Letitia Woods Brown Memorial Lecture. So please make sure you register, that you sign up. We look forward to seeing you. The Sumner Museum will also have a table during the History Network as well. So we hope that you can come out and um, see us and, and enjoy the conference and learn all about DC history. We are super, super duper excited about that. So at this, at this moment, I think I'm gonna close here. We wanna make sure that you, um, again, stay connected with us at the Sumner Museum. We have some exciting things coming up. We have some wonderful things that we wanna keep you abreast of and give you updates on in regards to what's happening at the museum. And all that can be found in our newsletter. So thank you so much, enjoy the newsletter, and I will see you next month. Take care now, bye-bye.